The answer is there are two principal ways. One, of course, is if your health improves and Social Security asks you to send in your records and if you're terminated, because you should be, because you've now gotten better. But and sadly, there is another way in which your SSI check can be terminated. Because of all the income rules for SSI, you can be terminated because of many other reasons. For instance, say you inherit more than two or three thousand dollars. You will be thrown off of SSI until you spend that money. Say you get remarried and your spouse makes above a certain level of income, you can be terminated. So basically, when you're on SSI, to stay on it, you need to not only continue to be disabled, but you can need to continue to meet their income and money rules. In some cases, you have a situation in which one month you're on SSI and another month you're off of SSI if you somehow have fluctuating income. As I've mentioned before, SSI income rules are very complicated and we cannot get beyond the very, very basics at this point.